to have the governor of my home state here with us, Bill Richardson. Let's give him a hand for being here. New Mexico is the land of enchantment, and we sometimes <laughs> joke about being the, the, it's the land of manana. Puerto Rico has a feet. Uh, manana. <laughs> but we've enjoyed our time here. We uh, we work hard and uh, get to the beach when we can. And thank you so much for joining us, Governor. Thank you. Your show. Thank you. Uh, primero, gracias a todos ustedes como voluntarios. Thank you as volunteers. The heart and soul of the campaign is not the candidate. It's not the television. It's not the fundraising, it's the volunteers. Volunteers vote, and volunteers get the vote out. Así es que lo que están haciendo ustedes como voluntarios es el corazón de cualquier campaña. Point number two. I have about 18 points. <laughs> Point number two. This Obama man, I think is a once in a generation leader. De veras. I was in the <laughs> You may not remember, but I was in the presidential race. <laughs> and I'll tell you a story. Les voy a contar una historia. Two real quick ones. Iowa. Jefferson Jackson debate. Todos los candidatos habían hablado. I had spoken. It was about October before the primary in January. And Obama was the last speaker and everyone was tired. You know, politicians talk forever. The chicken dinner was terrible. Um, <laughs> y habló Obama about 20 minutes. And he talked about unity and hope. I almost right there got out of the race and endorsed him. <laughs> I did. I stayed in. You know, we were fourth. But then, uh, this is another story. You saw the presidential debates. Ustedes vieron algunos de los debates. Y hubo un debate en que yo y Obama estábamos hablando. Era una fila de los siete candidatos. Siempre nos ponían juntos. They'd always put us together. Probably because we were the two minorities. And he and I got to know each other talking and, and we look at the answer of another candidate and we'd say, oh my God, no, you know how you do have little little exchanges? What a BS answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the moderator me pregunta, she asked me a question about housing. And so I answer the question. And I turn to Obama thinking that, you know, they're going to leave me alone for a while. And they'll ask questions to somebody else. So I'm talking to Obama. And then the moderator comes back and says, and Governor Richardson, what do you think of that? Y yo con la boca abierta. And I turn to Obama and he says, Katrina. <laughs> so then I say, well, my three-point plan on Katrina is. And I say, Obama, thanks. <laughs> he could have thrown me under the bus. You know, other politicians, no le digo nada. My point is that this man has humanity. And he's a good guy. You know, maybe other candidates had more experience, been around longer. But the reason that I endorsed Obama after having worked with Senator Clinton in two cabinet positions is that I think this man can bring this country together. You must get nada, especially giving hope to young people. We need somebody that can get things done. I mean, here in Puerto Rico, you guys have been waiting for some kind of status as an entity, whether you're statehood or commonwealth. For years, every Congress and every president, les han dicho pura mentira, nothing ever happens. It's the truth. And the reason I think Obama can maybe do something about Puerto Rico is one, is he's honest, two, he has an open mind, and three, he can get Republicans and Democrats to work together. That's why he has been so successful in the primaries, getting the appeal of independence, and states where uh, Democrats have not done well. 
I mean, Ray and I are from New Mexico and states like Colorado, where you're very. I, I heard. I, I met the young lady that runs this place. Where is Camila. Camila. <laughs> Carmela. Where are you? <laughs> you know, he, he can win states like that. Now, my last point. Why is Puerto Rico important? Why is what you do important? Because Puerto Rico is one of the last primaries. There are three left. Montana, South Dakota, and Puerto Rico. And there's more delegates in Puerto Rico than the two others. You have, what, 56 delegates? 63. 63. How many? 63. 63. 63. Bueno, whatever, 63. <laughs> That's a lot. 56 pledged. 56 pledged. And, and Senator Clinton is ahead here. She is. But I sense the momentum. I was in Ponce. I, I was in San Juan and Cataño. I sense movement. And he's coming here Saturday. And I know that you're all working to make sure the visit is strong. That's very important. But then it's the last 10 days. Just because he's going to have a huge crowd, which he will, you can't say, bueno, ya, ya, ya acabo. Tienen que seguir fuerte. Especialmente ustedes, los jóvenes, que es su primera vez en una campaña. This race is about you. Is America going to get out of this war, which is so wrong? Is America going to clean the planet and do something about global climate change and protect wild and scenic rivers and national parks and oceans? Is America going to give health care to its people or scholarships to its young people and make sure that educación bilingüe is part of our school system? Are we going to also... Are we also going to stand for our teachers that are underpaid, abused, are we also going to respect the diversity of America? You know, Barack Obama is uh, an island man. He was raised in Hawaii from a broken family with enormous diversity. You know, I used to kid him. I'd say, Obama, in every state you have a, a tia or a tia or you spent time there. You know, you were raised in Hawaii and Indonesia. And I said, New Mexico, pretty soon your, your mom is from New Mexico. <laughs> the point is that he has an internationalist diverse background, like many of us here. I think one of our strongest assets as Hispanics, uh, que hablamos dos lenguas, is that by having diversity in our background, it helps us understand other people and other cultures. So when you go into international relations, as I am, this is good. We see Indo Isleños, you're a bridge to Latin America and the Caribbean, and the possibilities are endless. So, you're the heart and soul of the campaign. It's not the big politicians. You know, I've been calling these big politicians mayors, alcaldes, resident commissioners, candidate por esto, but it's you that can make the difference. It's not the big shots, it's you. And I'm here to thank you, but I'm also to really turn it on. I don't want you to sleep the next 10 days. <laughs> I don't want you to go home the next 10 days. <laughs> because I think it's that important. It could be over with a dramatic win in Puerto Rico. It's going to be tough, but it could be over. It may be, you can make history and get the visibility in the national press. New York Times today, front page, Puerto Rico, the primary. CNN, Puerto Rico. They're all covering me. <laughs> but I want to just close with my thanks. I am here for the whole day. And, and, and I will continue to work hard to make this man president. Because I think the time has come when, you know, things in this country and in this world need new leadership. I think this is the man. So you're working for a noble cause. Le voy a dar la palabra al chairman uh, Eduardo Lati, who can tell you a little bit more about today and the campaign. But I know he believes, as we went around the whole state today, that the voluntarios, the volunteers like you, are the key. Gracias.